Hello, Matt here with Lycosa. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the application of leather edge paint. Now, this particular edge paint is something that I'm very excited about. I've tried a lot of different types of paints, and uh, the perfect edge has always eluded me. Sometimes the paint would be too thin, sometimes it would drip over the sides of my project, it, sometimes the paint would peel or crack, or maybe it didn't have good enough coverage. Um, there's a variety of different problems that I've encountered with uh, the edge paints that I've tried. Now, with the Gardini paint, um, I've ended up with the edge that I've been looking for all along. So, I'd like to demonstrate it for you and uh, see if you agree. Um, the first step now for creating an edge uh, is to have a good foundation. So, what I've done here is I've had a clean cut through both pieces and then I've sanded it off a little bit to increase the uh, the adhesion. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply the first coat of paint. There's a few different types of tools that you could use to do this, to apply the paint, and I'll show you a few of the ones that I've experimented with. Um, we have a standing brush that uh, works pretty well. I had this dental tool that I uh, picked up at a flea market in Ukraine actually. I lived there for a few years. This works well for um, applying a heavier amount, thicker amount. And then I have this awl that has a broken tip, which actually is, I think this is probably my favorite because it applies a pretty good amount of paint, not too much, not too little. And uh, yeah, it works pretty well. So let me try to start off here. I'll just dip some of this. Dip this in my paint. I think I got a little too deep there. So kind of go down at a angle. You want to try to avoid having any of this drip over the edge of your piece course. Now for the first coat I'm just gonna apply a light coat because I'm just going for good coverage and I want to um, be able to heat this up and melt it into the leather. Especially with uh, this type of leather, which is a waxy, it's a Horween leather, so sometimes you don't get the best um, adhesion. So that looks pretty good. And as you um, apply the paint, if you see any that's gone over the edge, try to quickly um, rub that off. As you can see, it's starting to dry already. This stuff dries pretty quick. Okay, here we are after a couple of minutes. Um, now with this waxier, this is a Chromaxel leather which has a lot of waxes in it. I would normally um, take a heat uh, tool and I would melt it into the leather as good as I can because that way I'd have good adhesion. Now for the demo here I'm just going to skip that step. After you would heat treat it or if you don't, the next step is you want to have this sanded down. Um, for a couple of reasons. One is it uh, kind of smooths it out a little bit for the next layer to go on smoothly and then the other reason is so that uh, there's better adhesion for the next layer. Okay, Looks good. Now we're going to put that second layer on there and usually on this second layer I put quite a bit more on there. I could use my other tool for that.
So as you can see, this is uh, quite a bit of paint on there. Let me get a little bit more on there. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna sand it down a little bit after it dries. So give me a few minutes here, we'll get back. To All right, the second layer is dry now, so I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down. See if we can get a nice profile started here. This is a time-consuming process, but um, the results are worth it. kind of try to round it out so that it's raised in the middle you can see the spots where there's valleys kind of where the ink's not as thick because there's a smooth surface where it's not getting sanded so try to minimize that so that we can get a good adhesion on the next layer. And sometimes it, you know, it only takes a couple of layers, but uh, for a thicker edge like this, you're probably going to want to do it at least three times, three layers. Well, it's getting there. Now this actually could be better, but I dropped it um, after the first layer and had to do a little bit of touch-up. But, you know, it's forgiving. You can just put more on and sand it down. Okay, that should be good for the next, next layer. Put one more layer on there and then we'll finish it off. Okay. Just wipe this off. Looks pretty good. Okay, give it about five minutes to dry. Now you can make it dry faster with a, a blow dryer. All right. This layer is dry now, and uh, it looks like we've got a pretty good, pretty good edge started here. So now all we have to do is sand it, sand it off, to make sure that it's completely smooth and the shape that we want.
try to get rid of those shiny spots. The final step of the edge uh, finishing process is to give it a little bit of a polish with um, this beeswax paraffin mixture. What you do is you can rub the wax onto the edge like so. You see it goes on really, really nice. Once you've put the wax onto the edge, uh, you're going to want to go over it with this um, cotton cloth, canvas cloth. Just give it a nice polish. If you go fast, it'll uh, give it a burnish, you know, kind of warm it up enough to melt it a little bit. Get a little elbow grease here. And there we have it. That is a beautiful edge. Now, I don't know if we can get that in focus too well. Let me try. 